Hi, today we are going to make Uluria Greek Easter cookies. We need self raising flour, caster sugar, eight eggs, vanilla extract. Baking powder, non stick cooking spray. I'm using canola cooking spray to grease the cookie trays, and two blocks for two sticks of butter, and trays to put your cookies on a spatula and all your utensils like measuring cups and spoon measurements and also one small cream pouring cream or thickened cream doesn't matter it's up to you it's your choice i'm using thickened cream okay so i am going to on here is my stand mixer and I'm going to mix a cup and a half of sugar. I'm going to pour it into my bowl. Sorry, you can't see it, but it's here on the side. And we're going to put six eggs with that until it becomes creamy. If it's too runny, add a little bit more sugar. I've got eight eggs, two eggs are for later, so you must save two for later. Okay, so whole eggs, I'm going to put those in. Put your eggshells. And six. Hands might get a bit messy. Okay, so and gotta wipe the bench because I dropped a bit of egg. Okay, now put those aside and mix it till it's creamy. That should take at least two minutes or so. On low to medium speed. And you're using a paddle blade. I'll be back in two minutes when it is nice and creamy. Bye. Hi, I'm back. My mixture, I'll show you. It's a little bit runny but creamy. I added a bit more cast sugar, cast sugar, granulated sugar to it to make it more creamy. Okay, now we have to add now we have to add our Vanilla extract. I'm using pure vanilla extract that I've got here. Um, teaspoon of baking powder and and two sticks of butter. Melted. It has to be melted. Here, I've got this block. That's a two-in-one packet. Or you can just use two single packets. That's really matter. Okay, so first, I'm going to cut this in half. And then I'm going to cut it in quarters. And then again, until I get small pieces. Melt. I'm going to need... Sorry about that. I don't need a bigger bowl. So, put them. 
now we're going to melt it in the microwave. Vanilla X, Van pure vanilla, pure vanilla extract. And then you put your one teaspoon of baking powder. You've got to wait. You put this back, and I'll come back. When well, my butter is melted. Bye. Hi, I'm back. Now that my butter is melted, I gotta pour it in to the rest of my mixture that I have. So carefully and slowly, like so. This makes a lot. Probably this mixture probably makes probably 50 or more cookies so if you don't want as many cookies halve the recipe to get less to get at least 25 to 30 you're going to have to halve it and mix until combined now you add your flour your self raising flour you need at least two cups of flour to start off with, sifted. And you've just got to keep checking it and add more flour until it becomes a soft dough. Always sift your flour in any thing you possibly do. It's important. Now. Take your blade off. You just tap it and put it on some paper towel. Now get your sieve. I'm not sure where my other sieve is, but I'm just going to use this sieve. It's a very brings it out very fine, which is good. But it takes a while to sip, that's why I prefer my one. It's good, but it's very time consuming this one. Okay, so two cups. So we my bad. Make sure you just wipe it off. Okay, and you two cups, sieve that until it's finished, and we'll see. I'll see you once I have put all my flour. Thanks. Hi, huh. okay, now. I added all my flour and guess what I needed like three more cups how weird I thought it was only gonna take two and a little bit but I needed three more so the whole recipe needs five cups of self-raising sifted flour crazy but anyway, this makes a lot, so if you want to give to family and friends on platters or anything, feel free because I don't think you're going to eat them all yourself. Okay, 
So now, once I've done that, I take my blade, my paddle blade off, or K-blade, whatever you want to call it, and I tap the excess into the bowl. And add our cream now. Look, it makes a lot. Now, we need one small cream. This is a large, this one is a large thickened cream. So, it's about half of that. So, it's about 300. The big one is about 600 ml. Which would be in a small one, probably like 300 to 350. So we are going to just get all of it in. And now you're going to put it back. Now, you put it on low because it's a lot. You don't want it flying everywhere. Whilst that's mixing, the cream makes it extra fluffy looking. But I'll be back to show you my end result. And then, once that's done, you wrap it up in cling wrap for at least an hour, for an hour and a half, so it goes firmer, so we can start rolling it. I'm back. Once you take it out of the fridge, you've got to put it on the bench to knead it. But the problem is, because of it being such a large recipe, you've got to, when you need to put heaps of flour until it becomes something like this. Okay. Now we're rolling the Greek Easter biscuits. So you roll them into a snake sort of shape. And you twist them like a rope. <laughs> that one didn't work properly. I'm going to do that one again. And they look something like that. And you put egg wash on them. And you lightly brush them with egg wash, which is just whisked egg. And you put them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Once they're cooked, they should look something like this. They, some of them became a bit fat. So don't roll them out really fat or else they will spread a lot. 
like this. But they're all right. And that's it. How to make Greek Easter cookies.